is. So this is the part four of our lecture, lab setup for malware analysis. And myself, Dr. Dibos Dibora. Okay, I hope you all know this. Then, now as our manual setup portion is, means lab setup portion is complete, we have discussed each and every point doing the same things, means lab setup for malware analysis. Now in this class, my point of discussion will be some warnings that you should take or you should note down. Warnings regarding this analysis portion. Okay, each warning will be important for you because I have gone through some important uh, websites dealing with this malware means analysis and they have referred them actually. And you'll find the ref uh, their reference in my reference sections that I'm going to show you in the last class or last portion of this lecture. Okay, so let's begin. Warnings. First one, there's no recorded case of malware using zero-day exploits to escape a virtual machine. So you should be safe if you practice good virtual machine hygiene. Okay, never plug USB devices, never plug USB devices into your virtual machine. Do note it down, all of you guys, as this is the era of virtual world. So do remember that you are going to frequently means face this type of situations. So note down this point that don't plug USB devices into a virtual machine. Assume every file in your virtual machine has been infected and never transfer files that are infectable outside your virtual machine. Don't log into any servers inside an infected virtual machine. This is the warning number one. Okay, warning number two, be careful when using features such as shared folders to share folders between your computer and the virtual machine. Anything in these folders can easily be stolen, infected, destroyed by malware inside the virtual machine. So again, point of attention is the word shared folders. Okay, so this, is, this was the warning point two. Then... Third one is don't run malware samples you are not familiar with on an internet connected VM because malware can launch DDoS attack. Guys, you know DDoS attack because I have discussed this many times. If you know, don't uh, means wait, just comment your answer. What is DDoS? Okay. So it may hack computers and commit financial fraud from your IP address. Your front door is must nature when it has not been knocked off its hinges by law enforcement. Then, warning number four. If you run a virtual private network, means VPN, okay, inside your virtual machine, it can be disabled or bypassed by malware. Remember it exposing your real IP address. So then what is the meaning of using that? Using this VPN then, okay. So criminals should generally not target researcher, but if you want to hide your IP address, then you should run the VPN on your computer and not inside your virtual machine. Do note it down. And well guys, I know that maximum of you means, not you, but I, had, I hear that Many guys are using torrent and in that case also to means your IP address may be stolen. Okay, IP address may be stolen means outside your IP address will be known to everyone then you know what type of attack may occur to your system. Do note it. Then the next warning is avoid storing executable malware samples, okay, where they can be accidentally run. So don't store it. Either rename files to something non-executable. So exe, I'm talking about exe files. Okay, non-executable files means like dot bin or dot malware like that. User sense rename it. Okay, sends a name or rename it before they task your computer or store them on a web server in a non-executable directory. This one is also important point. The next warning is that anything you put inside your virtual machine can and probably will be stolen by malware you run inside it. So use your common sense. I'm not going to say 
details of it. I hope you are mature enough to understand what actually I mean to say throughout this. Isn't it? Okay. Then next one is use snapshot to save your progress while doing analysis. And this one you should carefully consider it. Try having the practice of saving the snapshot. Okay. Because if you are taking notes in your virtual machine, it crashes or gets encrypted by ransomware, then your data will be just lost if you have not backed it up. Okay, so save your snap. snapshot. Okay, so use the snapshot. Then, next warning is that antiviruses still will still scan and delete non-executable malware samples or even your notes if they match malicious signatures. So, whitelist the folder, you save your resources. Thus, you got it what I mean to say? If you have some antivirus software installed, okay, then you also know that we have Windows Defender, then it can still scan and delete the non-executable malware samples or even some notes, they match some malicious signature. So, whitelist the folder. You save your resource, current resource on malware. Okay. So, that's all the warnings. It's very important and this is very, very important in your future case study portion also. Go through each of them, take snapshot and discuss with each other. So these are the important references. First one is the base one, then these two are also important. Okay, now coming back to the today's question and today's question is a kind of logical one. So question is, what is the best possible precaution that you will consider with respect to the warning that I have discussed just one minute before I have discussed few warnings, I'm talking about them, while setting up lab for the research analysis on malware. I'm repeating the question again. What is the best possible precaution that you will consider with respect to the warnings that are described while setting up lab for the research analysis of malware? So answer this question through comment. And the answer may vary from individual to individual. Don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not going to mind it, but do answer it. Apply your logic. Okay, think before answering it. So this was the end of this part four long lecture. And of course, this one is a very important one. And I hope that this is helpful for you. Revise them. Okay, discuss them. Uh, these topics I have discussed with your match and answer the questions. So we'll meet in the next lecture with a new topic. Bye-bye. Take care.